We're here at Mudgee for the Watershed Landcare Wands project. This project was designed to see if we could initiate new learned behaviours to get animals to eat serrated tussock. By using stress-free stockmanship methods to bring the groups of animals together and place them in areas of serrated tussock, we were able to get animals to start experimenting with consuming the tussock. Animals learn by not only doing but also by observing. So by bringing the animals together with stress-free methods you're able to initiate a larger number of animals consuming whatever weed that you have a problem with. We were able to see that there was extensive usage of the serrated tussock and high consumption in parts as well. The animals increased their consumption over the time span of this project and it was very obvious to see that more and more animals were learning that serrated tussock could become part of their normal diet. Even though serrated tussock has very low value as far as protein and accessible energy in it, the animals are actually still choosing to make it part of a diet. Research from around the world has shown that if animals are given a wide choice, they will often choose plants of much lower than optimum value. They do this as part of their dietary mixing to obtain a balanced diet for themselves as individuals. The farmers and researchers involved in this project observed major impacts on the serrated tussock over the life of the project. Using transect recording methods over the site it was found that 20 to 95 percent of the serrated tussock plants were grazed by the animals. When the results were collated we found that 49 percent of the serrated tussock plants had been grazed over the four and a half month period. Of the serrated tussock plants that were eaten it was found that on average 42 percent of each of those plants was consumed by the animals. Livestock handlers that can show a high level of stockmanship can initiate new learned behaviours and this does spread onto the offspring. What this means for landholders in practical terms is that if you teach animals to eat weeds they pass that on to their offspring. Once that begins to ripple right through a herd that is a practice that will last with that group of animals forever. By successfully implementing these strategies this assists the landholder and the landscape as the animals continue to use a wider range of plants across the landscape this means that grazing is more even across desirable and more undesirable plants. Stress-free stockmanship would like to sincerely thank the landholders that were involved in this project as well as Watershed Land Care and the Central West CMA for making the whole program possible. If you would like to find out more please follow the links at the end of this video.